good morning children today we'll learn about the early computing machines i hope you understood how the computer is useful in a previous chapter the ability of a computer and what a computer is not able to do how did computers come into existence we will learn today let me share a screen with you to make the lesson easier yeah they are called as the early computing machines you can see how old these machines looks they don't even look they but basically they are uh, used for calculations let's see what are these machines the very first machine that was developed for calculations um, like it was simple mathematical calculations of addition and subtraction this was called the abacus you can see now it's improvised and they are doing even the multiplication and the division on the abacus system so it was basically developed for carrying out calculations uh, and it is a wooden frame with wires and beads which was an aid to do some calculation small calculation it's called the counting board or the abacus this was developed 3000 years that is 3000 bc by a chinese uh, person and later this uh, expanded to other countries they also started improvising these uh, um, this system that is the abacus and if you see it is still today used by many of the people for calculation this is one of the best way of doing calculations and improving your uh, uh, your uh, skills this is the next type of uh, uh, system or a machine that was developed it was developed by pascal this is between the year 1623 to 1662 pascal is the son of a tax collector he was a very good mathematician he is a genius mathematical genius and he designed this um, mechanical calculator this calculator you can see this is pascal picture of pascal and on this uh, machine you have some gears it was gear system and so this gear system uh, machine was called uh, the pascal line and it was used for doing addition and subtraction which was more faster a little faster the next person is lyer bitsy it's in 1646 to 1716 he is a german uh, math mathematician he built this first calculator and this ca this uh, machine could do even multiplication and uh, division but it was not so reliable because the accuracy was uh, the parts of this it was not reliable due to its accuracy of the these parts it was giving sometimes wrong calculation so it was not so reliable but it was introduced a machine to do multiplication and division then came uh, babbage charles babbage in the year 1792 to 1872 he um, invented the analytical engine this analytical engine uh, they had developed a memory storage and uh, or a memory card for the input and for the output that uh, applied for the data instructions so they so for the machine to work to do the calculation it had an memory card where all input and output information was or the data instructions were stored the, he was remembered basically for his works uh, by uh, augustus uh, ada she is remembered because of uh, the works and they had i think may have worked together augustus ara she is a count uh, countess of uh, los lovelies and she is the first programmer in programming a language that is to build a language lovelies was the first person augustus ara her name is let's see her picture and this is ara lovelies she is the count Uh, countess of uh, lovelies and she is the first programmer you can see how she is written uh, some programs here then came the um, 
Burak in 1855 to 1998. He introduced the first commercial successful mechanical machine that, uh, that did the uh, adding. You can see how it's printing here with the help of this uh, handle. And because it was doing this calculations and on the paper, um, many of these uh, machines were sold in 1926. So Baroggs was an important person who introduced this mechanical adding machine. Then came Holred. Holred developed the el electronic uh, punching card. Sorry, this is punching card. It's a tabular form. It's like in, tab uh, in columns like tabular. And it was used for census to calculate the population of US in the year 1890. And it had a system of punching. It had a needle. Um, and so the data was punched on the punch card and uh, it was sorted accordingly, like how whoever was, um, you know, opted for which person for, for election, for the census duty, for the census, I mean, the number of the population. So the, this machine needed power, uh, that is that electricity. And uh, he formed the tabulating machine. It's called the tablet, uh, tabulating machine. Um, and it's a company too. And later on, uh, it is this tabulating machine company. Later on, it became the IBM company or the International Business Machine Company. It came under the IBM. IBM is now still the largest company in the world. I think you know. So Holred, he had developed an electronic punch card tabular US census in the year 1890 and data was punched on this punch card and they were sorted accordingly. That is how many males or how many females because it's census and how many children. So sorted accordingly. This machine was powered by electricity. It used electricity and he formed the tabular machine. This company later came under IBM. Then you have, see, look at this machine. It's quite very big machine. It's a cane. A cane is a person during his, a cane, I think, is one of the greatest person, at least I admire, who really uh, developed the computers a lot. A cane in the year 1900 to 1973. He was a professor in the Harvard University. And IBM had supported him uh, to build a better computer. And uh, this computer, which is made by him, is called the Hardware Mark I. It is five feet long, and it was made, invented in the year 1944. This was uh, doing all the calculations. It was based on a system called Relay, based on Relay. And uh, the operations that were done was so fast that in milliseconds, you got the results. And uh, to do any um, like multiplications and all, it just took three seconds to do the multiplication. That's how it developed. A can by who developed the hard uh, Harvard uh, Mark I computer. Then these two were a pair who really developed the computer because of the World War. Uh, they had uh, created a computer like a text computer, um, like you know, in the time of the war, how they sent messages and coding system. So they had developed, he is Eckhart and uh, Macri. So it is the ENIAC that was designed in 1946 for military computation during the World War II. And uh, it had a code name. You know, I told you everything is, is coding done uh, during the World War. So. It was called as Project PX, and it was first general purpose electronic digital computer. And they had used uh, vacuum tubes, that's big, big valves, uh, to make this device work. And it did its operations in microseconds. Here, there it was three seconds by Harvard uh, Mark I, and here it is in microseconds that any work was done because it was working on electricity. The weight of this computer was quite big. It was 30 tons and it occupied around 1,800 square feet and 17,468 vacuum tubes. 
those tubes, so many tubes were there for it to work. And it consumed 160 watts power supply. It was 1000 times faster than Howard Mach 1. Uh, multiplying in three milliseconds. Howard did it in three seconds and uh, their computer, the Project X could do the work in three milliseconds. So ENIAC is the name of that uh, design computer and uh, it also it's also called the, it's a decimal machine which could do even decimal um, calculations. So let's re read it. The ENIAC was designed and built in the year 1946 for military computation during the World War uh, II. Its code name was Projects PX and uh, it was first general purpose electronic digital computers. It is uh, powered by vacuum tubes or valves which were completely electronic and it operated within uh, microseconds which is 30 tons and it occupied quite a lot of space and so many vacuum tubes and the power was 160 volts. It was faster, much faster, thousand times faster than the Mark I computer. And there was another person who joined in with them, with these two. His name is Bo, uh, Juan Neumann and he's a scientific genius, a scientist basically. And he was an, a counselor for this ENIAC computers. You can see the ENIAC computers, how big they are. And uh, with the two of them, he also planned and designed another computer called the EDWAC. And this computer was able to store more programs and more data now. And, uh, and it was uh, one new man who concluded this binary system. As you know, the switch, when you on and off the switch, it has only two ways, that is on or off. So he understood the system of binary and so binary was included in working of the computer. So he concluded that binary system was most suitable for computers since switches had only two waves or two valves. Um, you have the generations of computers which we will be doing in the next class. So in the recap, these are your types of computers. And uh, this is Abacus, then came Pascal. And after Pascal came the German mathematician, uh, Les Bins, who introduced the multiplication division, Babbage, who started the memory card. Augustus, who started programming. Burroughs, who started uh, the mechanical adding machine, which was useful for commercial purpose. Colred, who invented the punching card for sensors and Akhen who uh, developed the Howard Mark I computer, which did work in milliseconds. And then Eckert and Mackley, they had developed the ENIAC machine and with them joined uh, Von Noman, who was a genius and he developed the EDWAC which had, uh, it could store programs and data also. And he also invented the binary system. We'll stop for today, children. In the next class, we shall do the classifications of computers. How there are different computers right now that we are using, uh, which you actually don't know. It's like used for how, which machine is used for ATM and for different purposes. We will learn about the different machines in the class in the next class uh, thank you for now have a nice day stay safe do all your homework thank you